What's going on, Diesel World Reaction? This your boy Juan Diesel, and I'm back with another video. This one's the Osley Brothers on hiring Jimi Hendrix. This right here is, you know, kind of like a history lesson about how Jimi Hendrix was once a part of the Osley Brothers. So let's get into it, folks. Make sure you all subscribe to the channel. Uh, we're looking for a guitarist to uh, play in the band because the guitar. At the beginning, he said Kelly and Ronald, by the way. Player that my brothers had in the band. Hey, quit. And they heard about this guy in the village and uh, played very well. And they just found him. And, uh, hey, man, play something for me. I can't. My guitar's in the pawn shop. Get his guitar out. Play something for me. I can't. They wouldn't take Because uh, my guitar doesn't have any strings on it. And then Wood, Wood bought the string, and then he was he even said, "Man, I heard all about you guy." And he was putting the strings on the guitar. I'm listening, and he said, uh, "And I, as he got the string, he turned the guitar was turning around. He's left hand, you know, turned it." And I said, "And he started." Uh, he said, "I like this song that y'all had called Twist and Shout," and he started playing it. I said, "Oh, I, you know." We hired him right away. Right away. Let me introduce you to the rest of the brothers in the band. Uh, we got uh, rehearsals, you know, in, in a couple of days. I can't make rehearsals in New Jersey because I do not have a place to stay. <sighs> all right. These are your worldly goods here. Come on with us. We can stay in a spare bedroom we have at my mother's house. So they, they're leaving. And they say, you know, by the way, you know, Jimmy, you play very well, but the guitar you have is kind of scruffy looking. If you're going to play with us, we got to get you a new axe. Really? He's like, yeah, what kind do you want? Can I have a white Stratocaster? Yes. Oh, my God. So, when he comes into the house, to our house for the first time, he has a brand new guitar with a brand new guitar case, and he plays it like this. And he plays, uh, I never heard, I'm 11 years old at the time, I never heard, and now all the musicians I heard, never heard anybody play a guitar like and uh, when we did our first gig, man, it, 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 it just changed the whole band. Changed the whole band. He stood out in front of them, man, and like people went crazy, you know. And uh, he had uh, um, stage presence. He had a good sense of humor. He was uh, respectful, polite. He learned very fast. He would start a band before the first rehearsal was over. And, uh, you know, from like the jump, he was given, he was given preferential treatment, which, you know, some of the guys in the band had rubbed him the wrong way, but the place. <laughs> because it turns out that that person, that you never know who you're dealing with or who you're rubbing elbows with. The night that the Beatles played on Ed Sullivan for the first time, on our couch is me on the left side, Marvin, the youngest brother, on the right side. And Jimi Hendrix in the middle. And when Ed Sullivan said, ladies and gentlemen, the Beatles, there was no clap of thunder. You don't know what the future holds. It's indelible. And you a never forget days, the Ed Sullivan moment. Oh, no, no, no. And a couple of days after that, two or three days after that, there was a meeting with the whole band. And amongst other things, Kelly said, now this new English band, it changed everything. And, uh, you know, I don't know what it's going to be like for, even for Elvis himself, but I think we're going to be all right because they do shout and twist and shout. And uh, they got two guitar players, but we got Jimmy. And when he said, but we got Jimmy, I looked over at Jimmy, and Jimmy was grinning from ear to ear at that remark. <laughs> it's like, uh, yeah, you know, so.